nobody is actually looking for me, I'm actually real live. Is there anybody jumping on yet, Dennis? Because it no. takes... No, not yet. It takes a little bit of time anyway. So, I am actually so busy. I'm working on something for us, for the guest bedroom. And I just thought, this is quite interesting. I've got to problem solve um, some decoupage on this. So, um, and the reason, I'm going to give you the reasons why I'm decoupaging. So this, come, come and have a look at this, Dennis. This, this is a piece that if you will remember, I've done... Some of you will have seen, I will link the tutorial in for this, after this live, for this project, how to create this chippy look. And if any of you did see that, you'll remember that I painted inside this little cubby in Coco, I think it was. And it was quite, it was, it was lovely, but it was a little bit dark. Um, and we've now moved this to another room, and it seems to work in that room. And I'm going to show you a picture that I'm trying to tie, tr trying to tie this piece of furniture to. And some of you have already seen this picture. It's a bit rude. Um, it's just an old oil. Quite, it's quite um, a nice oil. A bit crudely done. I'm not so sure about her face, but hey ho. Um, but in here. She has this beautiful shawl, which has got lovely bright yellow and just a few little bits of pink and white and all sorts. It's kind of suggestive, but this sits on the wall, on the opposite wall, kind of near this piece of furniture. So I wanted to try and tie the two things together. And so this is my inspiration. This was already painted and now I'm going to do the most fiddliest thing on camera in front of you guys, and I just thought, well, you might have a laugh. You really might have a laugh at my expense when I'm struggling to get this decoupage inside that cubby hole. It's napkin that I'm using. Again, if you, most of you will have seen my napkin decoupage tutorial. That's what brought you to me. I know that because it's the most popular tutorial. It's a long time since I've done this, and I think, ultimately, um, it will work really well inside this cabinet. So, let me show you what I've got. This is a napkin that I've, I've pulled out only because I like the colours. Um, the blue is a little bit sharper than the blue on, on this cabinet, but that's why I've painted it yellow. So, um, napkin decoupage, I would always say paint white underneath, but I'm hoping, I've not practised this, I'm hoping that it will mute the yellow shining through the blue will kind of catch some sort of similarities to the cabinet and the white will become like a cream yellow and I'm going to leave a stripe in between which is going to be the pure yellow which was Annie Sloan English yellow which I painted it. It's quite a light base so it should work in theory. So there goes number one. I don't know what I'm going to get. If this is a hot mess, I will paint over it. Um, and originally, what I thought I might do is just go for it in one. So I was going to place the whole thing in one and have that pattern kind of up to the edge as one, straight over the top. But in thinking about doing this, ultimately, napkin decoupage is so sensitive if you run your finger over it with wet glue underneath you're most likely you're gonna rip the um the decoupage so i had a little thought a thought what i could do and i could change the pattern slightly is to trim this down and you can see some of them here on the table i've trimmed them in sections i've gone along each one so i've taken off a band with the blue on and I've taken the band from the middle of that so this is how the pattern would have worked you can see it would have been all together so what I plan to do is actually make my own pattern so we'll have blue slightly creamy yellow because there's a white background blue bright yellow creamy yellow yellow blue and so on so hopefully that'll work, and the reason that I've put them into strips is that they'll be more manageable to get into place, because there's no way I can take the top off to work on this, it's kind of, and you guys are not going to see very well, Mr M is behind the camera, 
and he'll do his best because my hands are going to be in fiddling around. So without further ado, let's just have some fun. Let's try and get this in. If it's a disaster, I apologise, but you might find some, some sort of interest in it. Is there anybody there watching? Yeah, 32 people. Uh, hello, everybody. Sorry that there's no live. I've been over to see Annie this week, if you haven't um, caught that on her social media. And we've filmed four new tutorials, which won't be on my channel. They'll be on her channel. So lots more content by me taking one day off or two days off. It's given you four new tutorials, technique tutorials, and I'll give you a heads up on them when they go live. Right, let's try and figure this out. I don't know which way I'm going to go with this. I'm going to lift this cabinet up onto here, I think. And your arm's getting achy, Mr. M. No, I'm all right. So, let's see if we can do this. Yes, maybe. I want to put the other way around. Put the other way around? What, up? So. You're going to have to come right into here. Yeah. Right. Let me have a look at what they're seeing. Oh, yeah, you can see it. I'm behind the camera now. Nice English yellow. I did start off with Arles, and then I did a rough coat of English yellow. So, you might want to come here, actually, Mr M, because um, I'm going to go sort of straight down into there. Oh, this is going to be hard on camera. I need, need to pull my sleeves up, I think. Right, where to start? And this is probably, I might go on the floor actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll go on the floor. Do I go on the floor? Yes, because then I can see yeah. into it with you. Yeah. I'll straddle That's it, good. excuse the yeah. old slippers. Right, so I've had a think. So normally you would use decoupage medium. I'll sit down here. Normally you would use decoupage medium on on your um, surface and then apply your decoupage. I'm missing loads out. So if you don't know how to um, do napkin decoupage, let me get one of these. These are three ply. No, they're not. Them ones are not. These ones are. So there's my strip. These are three ply napkins. And you don't use all of the layers of this napkin. So the best thing I can say to you to do is lick your finger and forefoot and just pinch. Can you see? You'll get a layer that will come free of the napkin. And I'll do it again. All you need is a tacky finger. There you go. And it basically removes those two other layers. So it's super, super thin. That's why it's difficult with wet glue um, you can put your fingers through it. Also, let me grab it. Another thing to use is, this is um, cling wrap. All over the world, you'll call it different things. That is a great barrier to put over the top. But we're not going to be using this just yet because we've come up with another idea. And I don't know whether it will work. But let's bring some... So I'm going to attempt... I'm going to attempt to use one of these, a little craft glue stick. Now, I figure if I put the glue in the areas where I want the decoupage to be, that'll be enough to hold the decoupage into place without it being soggy. Um, so we're gonna layer this on where the decoupage wants to be. I'm risking it for a biscuit. I'm not, I'm gonna manage my pattern as I go along, I think. No measurements, but you might want to measure somewhere on here, little marks where you think they should go. I'm just going to eyeball it. So that's going to go down, get them into place, and then we'll use the wet glue, once that I'm happy with where they are, as the top coat. And that should penetrate right the way through to this glue, so it should harden off really well. In theory, I've never done this, guys. It's just me thinking on my feet. Um, right, so I'm going to go central and I'm going to start pasting this on. Oh, please work. In theory, this should work. It'll just make sure that it's in place. Oh, there's Lily walking past. 
You can't see her, guys. Pamela's uh, card is that uh, you got this. I got this. I know. I need. I need that that show of love because I have no idea. I've never tried this before, and I'm literally winging it. So I need. Where's my little scissors? I need to chop the end off because they've all got ends on them. So I want to take the end off here. We'll go like that. You can go right inwards. Right, where's the middle? I would say, ooh, a bit more glue. It will be very rustic. If this works out, it will be rustic. That is for sure. Right, straight in. Oh yes, yeah, that's stuck down. I'm going to leave the ends trailing out. I'm not going to be worried about them so much. And it gives me a little bit of stretch on that. Yes, that's in. This is the weirdest angle I've ever filmed anything. It's not you, it's me who's filming. Well, yeah. So there we go. First one in. It seems all right. Right, the next one. So now we're going to go in with the thicker stripe. This one with the blue on it. And we're going to go somewhere. We're going to leave a yellow stripe in between. So I need to take the end off because I probably will travel this up the sides and round Everyone the back. from Blustery and Rainy Octory, Canada. Well, hello, Canada. Ooh, we've got a few of you there. I'm sorry that I'm not premiering. I've been, I have been filming. I filmed um, a challenge that I've been doing with Katya and Daniel and Christina. Right, let's open that up. So we're gonna go somewhere here. This is really just to keep it in place because the glue will go through the napkin once it's... It just dawned on me. Make it easy for yourself, John. Right. In with the next one. Try and keep these nice and, nice and straight. Reminds me of being at preschool, the smell of it. Yeah, this is not fun. A little bit. Jane, really looking forward to seeing the challenge. Oh yeah, the challenge. I've got to say, it's not my greatest work. You'll all be very shocked at my project probably because I went off to Annie to work with Annie and I had like half a day and I made a hot mess of my project and I was a bit disappointed because I was rushing and this is such an awkward angle for me. <laughs> it's fiddly. First one on like a dream. I just want to make sure my, that's it. That's the one. I just want to make sure my lines are nice and straight. Yes, 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 yes. Won't worry about that because I'm gonna carry on up, up the back. How's that looking? Out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I'm just going to probably only do the bottom, the whole bottom, and then we'll top coat it, and then I will come away from this and then take a bit more time over it. But just so you guys can see, and I can check in with you guys, which is really nice. This is really uncomfortable for me. I'm gonna... That's it. Rather random in this with the glue stick. I wouldn't advise to put a big sheet of um, 
decoupage paper on like this, it's because it's just so small that I feel I can get away with it. So it's not for a whole cupboard front, but I think for something that's quite, quite fiddly like this, then definitely little odd bits. that way and I may do a colour wash over all of this afterwards just to blend it all in and that looks pretty good doesn't it hello from Virginia USA I watch all your videos Jonathan your work is always lovely thank you so much thank you thank you very much I don't know whether you'll think that about this challenge piece <laughs> um, I'm not too sure about it myself, but hey ho. Catherine, I'm scraping paint off and an accident while watching you. Listen, love, take a pot. How Surely that? almost missing your life. Ooh, yeah, I think I quite like that. It's kind of quite delicate. Yeah, you're looking good. I feel like I've got that a bit wonky, but I don't pull it, so it's going to stay. Ooh, look at that. We will go back after I've top coated it with um, some sandpaper just to make that nice and neat. All right, next one. Next one. Actually, if you want to pull out a bit, I can look at the camera. Mr. M doing his thing. Hello, everybody. Right, let's go again. Let's see if we can get this next one on. So, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm not actually premiering tonight, but things got behind. I got behind on some stuff. So, you get me trying to complete some of the projects in the house. And this is one of them. Is that your belly, Mr. Ham? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had our supper yet. I've just been work, 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 and we've not eaten yet, so I'm not going to... Charge, hey, hope you've gone well with Annie Sloan. Oh, yeah, we've done some really interesting um, things that I did with Annie Sloan in Oxford. So some tutorials from Annie and myself which was... All right, Jonathan, now you know how Michael Angela felt painting the <laughs> chapel. <laughs> I know. Well, not quite as artistic as him. Gosh, he was amazing. But yeah. Other man's treasure. Hello, mate. <laughs> yeah, not quite Michael Angelo. But I just think this little bit of pattern in here will make this look really vintage. I just felt like I wanted to put something inside and it was definitely too dark as it was before. Pippi and Kia, Mama. That little piece is gorgeous, Jonathan. What colour did you use? Oh, now you're asking. You'll have to go back to the tutorial. I will link it in afterwards to this. It was a mix. I think it was Obersom Blue mixed with... Oh, blimey. There's white underneath. There was Obersom Blue. I cannot remember. Definitely over some blue, but it was lightened with something. And I don't think it was white, per se. It might have been another tone. But it is a lovely colour. It's kind of a real vintage sort of blue. So I was so non -dark. Yeah, it looks a bit duck heavy. I don't think I had duck head in there. No, I don't might, think you did. It might have been a lighter shade. It could have been... Or I might have even put a pink into it to neutralise because it might have neutral, I have no idea. I'd have to go back and look. <laughs> but it, it is a colour mix, it is a lovely. Um, I've been doing a series of colour mixing with Annie, so that's quite interesting. 
Um, and I think I'm going to suggest to Annie that we might, I'm going to come on the other side, that we might do a colour mixing challenge, just me and Annie, um, which could be quite fun to do basically find some objects. Uh, Annette, hi Jonathan, love your channel from Scotland. Hello in Scotland. Thank you. Um, maybe me and Annie could do challenge each other. So bring five objects with solid colour on them. So whatever it might be, I don't know. So let's just for example, if I took this and put it in tangerine, if I brought five objects for Annie and Annie brought five objects for me, can we mix the colour from her? I think that would be quite fun. Right, that one is slightly not stuck on my side. So, dare I do it? Yes, I do. It's just merely just to get this down. And keep it down until I put the other glue over the top. It looks a little bit redundancy with those uh, and most look like fabric great. That's what I was trying to go for, the Regency what, stripe. Yeah. What is that glue stick? So this is a kid's craft glue. In the UK we call them Pritt stick. Um, it is literally for sticking paper down. Um, in most schools have these sort of craft glues. It's like a pasty, it's like a paste. It's sticky. And my take on this was to use that just to get them into place and then the top coat should go right through and harden everything off. So let's get in with the next one. Oh, this is fiddly. I'm gonna have to go left-handed. Do you want me to do it? <laughs> Mr. M is left-handed and I'm right-handed. Well, we're both actually a little bit both-handed, aren't we? Because mm -hmm. you don't you write with your right hand, but do everything else with your left hand. Whereas I write with my right hand, but years of hairdressing has allowed me to work with both hands, which I find quite easy. So. I've just got to remove this one because I only did a few. So that's that's the two layers off. And we'll snip. As I said, I think it's called dry glue. Yeah, it's like a dry glue, yeah. In I mean I don't know it is that, but I would say that's about right. It's like a dry, pasty sort of it's it's, it's yeah, because it dries quite quick, isn't it? Yeah, it does. I don't, this is the thing about being known in different countries. Everything has got a different name in another country. Same things, but different names. A bit like the cling wrap that we talked about earlier on. That has so many different names. Cling wrap, cling film, we call it. Um, There's all sorts of names for that, that product. That's a little bit wonky, but hey, this is going to be very charming. <laughs> it's on, it's on. Right, I am going to, this is going to be the last one. And then what I'll do is I'll top coat them, see how that goes with you guys. And if it works, I'll leave that to dry and then I'll work my sides and then go to the back. Because I think if I try and go up and round all the corners in one go, I'm going to get into a hot mess, I think. Um, let's take the sand off. So that's now ready. The last one, last one. That's what we call in Canada. 
Is it what you call it in Canada? Prit? Yeah. Prit. And in Africa it was glad wrap. Oh, glad wrap in Africa, yeah. Cling film, glad wrap, saran wrap, I've heard it called, be called. Um, yeah, there's so many names for one thing. And a variety of different sort of styles of it as well. So some of it's thicker than others in different countries. more glue because I'm not right into the corner. Behind there. Yes, like I said guys, I wouldn't use this for a full decoupage piece, but it's just so I can literally get them in place because this opening is so tight, I can't quite reach to get a full sheet in and Probably not the neatest thing I've ever done in my life, but it will have charm. Yeah, it's looking good already. It will have character, won't it? It mm -hmm. will just be... Take that behind there. And at least it, it's not so sticky on the surface of the napkin that you can smooth them down a little bit easier. Right, so I feel quite good about that. Everything else is good. So, shall we, shall we top coat? I'm yep. using, I'd run out of Annie Sloan decoupage medium, but that would be the right consistency, decoupage medium. This is UK PVA glue, very similar, it's slightly thicker, but I've watered it down. To just to, so it's got a bit more fluency. Um, this is what I always used to use, and it was pretty, pretty good to me, right? I'm gonna start from one side and gently top coat these in. Ooh, it's a bit precarious at the end. Rosemary Perry, laugh out loud. Being, being careful. <laughs> Does this work? I think it does. Yeah. Once it's got kind of gone through the layers, I'll be able to put more on top just to make sure. And what, what we'll find is the colors will kind of shine slightly through. So they'll become more cream, the stripes. And as I suspected, this quite Louis blue on this napkin with the yellow behind it, it's kind of tying more into my color, which is slightly more a warmer blue, which I'm really pleased about. I'd hoped for that. The napkin, if anyone wants to know where the napkin's from, it's, I've had it for many years, because I used to do a lot of this, and it's, I think it's a Calf Kidson. You may find them online, I don't know. But it's quite a pretty pattern. It's something that I never really used on furniture and until now. I tried to spray with the glue and left it dry. Say that again, could I spray it with the glue and left it to dry. Yeah, spray and let it dry. Yeah, probably what I would say, if I'm getting this right, is smoothing it down with a brush gives, allows you just to be able to push it down as well. That's why I wanted to use a brush. There will be little crinkles here and there, um, but I like, to, I like that bit of control. So just smooth that in. Once it's kind of dried, I'll be able to go be a little bit more um, rough with it. I'll be able to... Yeah, it seems to be working all right. It looks all right, doesn't it? It looks great. Already. Well, 
Well, if you're happy with it, it's going in our guest room, so I'm pleased you're happy. Well, me too. Oh, I'm ready for dinner, aren't you, Mr. Ram? Yeah. <laughs> it's not very often I get a cameraman, but today I do. Right at the bottom, I'm going to continue the pattern up the back as well. Catherine Rose Barrett, you are funny. <laughs> what is for dinner? Whatever you've cooked me. What is it? It's, I think it's a, is it chicken and pasta? Is it a chicken pasta dish? Yeah. Ooh. Right, that can be smoothed back that way where I didn't get the glue. Fiddly, fiddly, let me use my finger. Right, that feels good. Just going to smooth them down. You have to be really careful with your fingers on, on this because it's, oh, I've done it. I've broken it already. There you go, look. Didn't notice what I was doing. Look, guys, do I leave it? Let it be a happy accident or do I remove it? Let's remove it. Kelly, turning out beautiful on this trap and some great idea. Right, let's go back in and fix that. Naughty, Jonathan, for overworking it. You can see how delicate this really is. So I'm gonna go in here. My fingers are all sticky now, so that's not a good look either. Eww. Can I do this? Can I do this? Yes, you can. It's hard because my fingers are sticky. Fingers are sticky. Did I, did I blind that pattern? Close, close, look. Right, don't touch it. There's always a fix. Oh, it's really hard. The space that I've got to work this is so hard. So I'm just gonna slightly push that down and leave it, I think. And let this dry. That'll do me. Look, cause I pulled another bit there, look. That's from rubbing my hands in. So I'm not going to touch it anymore. Difficult. Right, let's lift this up and then everybody can have a look the right way around and see if I've got it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Ugh. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll tilt it with a bit of light. Oh yeah. Looks Good. quite nice. I so, love the contrast between cheap and old look and the delicate flowers. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking it's like as if it had had some lining paper in there from many years ago. Um, all of this I will leave to dry. I'll leave all of that to dry and I'll take some sandpaper, get a nice clean edge to just take that off. I will work after dinner, I'll work the sides and the back. There's a few little things that I'm... The fix was good, I'm happy. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. So let's now bring back, let's bring back my lovely old canvas. Can you see what I was going for? Because of the colours, if I go like that, it kind of mimics the colours. I made it a colour wash over the top of this, but I'll leave this to dry. It'll have another coat, once it's all dry, the edges are taken off, another coat of um, top coat glue and then I might do a colour, you know, like just to soften it with maybe the Paris grey, just wet the surface and then just slightly rub some Paris grey into it just to kind of make it muted and tone away. Okay, I think that's Thank right. you, Mama, it looks beautiful together. Ah, uh, so they're, they're going to live together somewhere close in the room together so I just thought the colour connection between the two things would be good. I'm quite happy with that. I think 
it just adds another layer of interest, doesn't it? Right, we are going to have our supper. I'm going to let this dry and then I can move on to the sides so I'm not going to be scraping it like I just did. Um, I think that was a success. That, I think that worked out all right. I'm sure it did. Um, yeah, there's lots of things with day massage that can go wrong, especially napkins. So I'm going to tune out. If you can hear a scratching, that it is... It stopped. It stopped. That is one of the babies. One of, is that the boy? Uh, or is it the girl? I think he's the girl. That's Miss Lily. She yeah. has a toilet Rosemary in the Rosemary Perry say, enjoy your supper, guys. Oh, thank you very much. So I will endeavour to see you next, um, next week on the usual time, this time, 7.30. I will try and link in any of the other tutorials, like this one, the decoupage one, and that's, I think that's what all that needs to be linked in to this in the description. Um, next week is going to be a flat finish. Um, maybe something interesting, it's a bureau, so maybe something interesting inside, but again, it's another piece for our house. I'm probably going to be painting a burnt orange on the bureau, because I think that colour will look great in my office. So that's what we'll be doing next week, but I promise to do something quite interesting inside, so you will, it'll be a sped up video again, just flat painting with chalk paint and a good colour mix. So I'll see you all next week. Lots of love. Take care from me, Mr. M. See you soon. Take care. He doesn't know how to turn it off. Bye, guys. See you next week.